uh, evening guys or morning, depending on where you are in the world. I receive hundreds upon hundreds of um, DMs a day regarding the use of Milana Tan 2. So now it's time to cover the use of it in the video and how it works and there's so many videos out there about it but none of them cover like what it does, how it works, what dosages etc you know so I'm going to go into that today, I'm not going to mix any of it today you know or take any, I'm going to cover that in another video but I mean it comes in a freeze dried powder form in a little multi use vial basically the brain produces a hormone called MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone and when you go out in the sun and the UV hits your skin, obviously all sunbeds even you know your brain turns that hormone on targets the melanocytes in the skin and you start tanning now gingers, redheads, you know blondes or anyone that doesn't tan even people with severe sun allergies you're not going to produce that hormone on a good level so you burn and we all know that burning in the sun is shit for your health so, yeah, basically this hormone here, which is a, I like to call it a mutated version of um, the MSH that the brain produces, right? It's a, it's about a thousand times more potent. So when you take this, you are literally going to get seven to ten shades darker than natural, or even more. I mean, last year I was working on an open pool outside and the sun was out every day. I took this shit, you know, Literally every day I took the piss with it, I took it every single day, one milligram every day before I got up. In the morning, jab it, go to work, sit out in the sun all day and I went purple. Like my lips went purple, my nose went purple, my ears went purple. It's powerful shit. So this year, I mean I'm not that dark now, I've got a good colour, like I don't really take it that much anymore. Like I mean I've got some here which I'm gonna run soon, so therefore I will do a video mixing and whatnot to show you guys. But um no, basically, it's generally speaking, you know, you load up for 10 days, you know, an injection every day before bed, one milligrams, and then after that, you should, you know, even fair skin people should have reached a nice colour by that point. You know, 10 days is a long time on this stuff. It's powerful shit, like I said before. And after that, you want to inject twice a week or, you know, once a week if you can get away with it and a sunbed session with that. I mean, I'm in the UK, so, you know, once in the blue moon we get a good summer so we don't really get a lot of sun so yeah sun beds I use them to maintain the colour but if you're in a hot country you know and you're out in the summer all day I mean you could load up with this stuff on 10 days and you might not even need to run it after that again you know I mean that's adequate on this but I literally did I was on it all year six months straight last year and you know it's great stuff but you know if you're injecting something in your body which is replacing something well giving you more of that you know you're going to get great results especially for people with fair skin that burn and whatnot but um no mixing wise you know you mix like I said comes with a comes in a powder and um you know you got two ml of water there to mix it with now I get asked mostly how much you take of it so just so you guys know got an insulin needle here they are tiny, you don't feel them going in, it's nothing. Right, oh, camera's shit are focusing by the way. Right, you got, it says 0.1 but that's the same as 10, you know, some of them are 10, some are 0.1. That's how much you'd inject. Now, there's Melanotan 1, which I've never used myself, and that's a full length peptide, that's literally the exact same as what your brain produces. So, um... That was the first one that came out, Alpha Melanotide. They used that for people with sun allergies and stuff like that. And um, it's in your system for about 13 hours. And, you know, it doesn't target as many melanocytes in the skin. So it's not as powerful. But that's just tanning. You just tan on that. That's all it does. Whereas Melanotan 2 is a circular chain peptide which binds to the melanocyte receptors a lot stronger. Therefore, it's in your system longer. I think 33 hours it's in your system for. So you could, if you wanted to, inject it every other day. But if you're starting out, you know, every day for 10 days straight, then after that, if you reach a nice colour, just jab twice a week after that just to maintain, you know. Because obviously you ain't going to maintain that dark colour without it. It's just impossible. Like, um, but, um, no, literally, it's brilliant. I mean, I've, like I said, I haven't used it that much this year, but, you know, I've, the weird thing is with it, is that like a normal tan, when you get a tan, you, um, 
you it fades within like two to three weeks. It's complete shit. Like you know, I mean, I go brown anyway, so but I'll go down the beach. I'll get a good tan, and then within a week or two of the sun going, and it's gone. Like even with sunbeds, it just doesn't last. Now this, I I took it last year, like I said, and I stopped taking it in August. You know, I wasn't working outside anymore, so I just didn't have the time to sunbathe as much. So I stopped taking it. But no sunbeds, no sun exposure, no melana tattoo, and I was still dark in around Christmas time. You know, I mean, if, in the face, I started going a little bit pale. The back of my hand started losing it, but you know, it faded a bit. But my legs, my feet, my Body, it's weird. It went a little bit patchy. Like, I'm not going to lie, but I was somewhat coloured after a couple of months of stopping this stuff. So it is horrendously powerful, and I'm, I think it's amazing. You know, it's a game changer for people with red hair, or you know, especially someone like me that suffered with acne scars and stretch marks and stuff. It really does cover them up. You know, by targeting so many, like, targeting the melanocytes in such a full blown way. You know, you just produce so much melanin. It covers all those blemishes up covers the um, stretch marks up, but don't get carried away with it. Like I said, I mean, you know, areas like your lips, under your eyes, your nose, your ends of your ears, they will go purple if you take too much, and that's literally what happened to me last year. I mean, I'll try and dig out a photo for you guys um, at some point on that, but um, yeah, that's literally it. I mean, if you're interested in taking it or you feel like I haven't covered anything, I mean, comment down below and leave a message and I'll get back to you ASAP but um no I'm going to be making a few more of these videos you know about you know sun exposure and stuff like that and whether the sun's bad for you or not and skin cancer and stuff like that so that's in another video I mean the next one I'm going to make I'll be mixing might even take something to show you guys how it's done and that so hopefully I've covered all the questions that you guys asked me and I no longer need to reply to 100 people at once so yeah um subscribe down below like comment whatever, or unlike, just do something, alright? <laughs>